Hello students, welcome you again in this special session where we are going to discuss how to make chemistry practical record. In this session we are going to discuss how we have to make a practical record in a well mannered way. It should be attractive and everything should be proper in our practical record. Okay, so let's start. So we know that in our practical there are five things which we have to mention. First is volumetric analysis which carry eight marks. In volumetric analysis, we have to write the titration. Uh, first titration is uh, about more salt and KMnO4 solution. And second titration is about oxalic acid and KMnO4 solution, which we have discussed in our previous videos. I will provide the link of those videos in the description box. So I uh, recommend you, I strongly recommend you to see those uh, videos so that you can uh, know everything about the titration. Okay, so let's move ahead. And the next is salt analysis. So in this video, we are going to discuss about the salt analysis and content based experiment. Okay, first we will discuss about salt analysis, which carry eight marks and eight marks, you know, they are very important. Let's see. So let's first uh, discuss how we have to uh, go with salt analysis. Okay, after performing the uh, practical or the experiment, which uh, whether you have completed through online lab or we have you have completed uh, from school. So what you have to write? First of all, you have to write the experiment number of that salt analysis. If you are starting uh, with first uh, experiment, then you will write the first experiment number. And after that, you have to make a, a title that analyze the given salt for one acidic and one basic dry and wet test. Okay, so actually what happened, uh, whatever salt is given to you, you have to identify one of the acidic radical and one of the basic radical out of that salt. Okay, so uh, that's why you have to first write this thing that analyze the given salt which may have positive and negative ion for one acidic and one basic uh, basic uh, ion, we can say basic radical here, we can write, I think it is missing. So we can write basic, we can write basic radical, acidic and basic radical by dry and wet test. Okay. In dry test, we will not use water. In wet test, we will make a solution and then we will perform some experiment. Okay. So uh, after writing this, you have to write the preliminary test. There are some preliminary tests in salt analysis, uh, let's see what are the preliminary tests. Preliminary tests, these are the preliminary tests in which uh, physical examination, you will see the color, order or nature of the salt given to you. First, you have to just observe the salt carefully and then you have to write. But uh, as you are not performing practical uh, in this COVID period, so uh, you can uh, see, uh, you know, the color and the order and nature uh, from your lab manual book and then you can write it. Okay, and after that you have to uh, write about the dry heating test. Whenever you take the salt in a test tube and then you heat, then what is the effect? Is there any change in color? Is there any change in physical state? Uh, any type of gas is evolving or not? So such type of, uh, you know, such type of test you will write here. And after that there is a flame test. In flame test what happened? Uh, whenever you take the salt and uh, take the salt uh, to the burning flame, then uh, so what type of flame it is producing, is, is it green or red or what type of flame it is producing, you will write here. Okay, but all these things are available in your lab manual. You have to search it out and then you have to write about it. Okay, is it not that you have to, uh, you know, perform these things at home if you are not doing the practical in school. If these are available in your lab manual. You have to search it. Then the borax bead test and the charcoal cavity test, they are also available in your lab manual. Uh, any type of salt you are taking, you can write uh, about their borate bead test and charcoal cavity test if it is possible. Okay. Okay. These are the preliminary tests we can say. And after that, you have to uh, write the test for acidic radical and then basic radical. In acidic radical, you know that there are three type of tests we perform. Preliminary test, we can say them. Uh, dilute H2SO4 test, concentrated H2SO, H2SO4 test and the general group test. Actually, uh, the basic radicals, acidic radicals are divided into three groups. Okay. So after writing this uh, preliminary test of dilute and concentrated and general group, 
you will have to write one confirmatory one or two at least two confirmatory tests uh, are necessary to uh, write down okay so this you have to uh, do up with the acidic radical and after writing the acidic radical you have to write the basic radical basic radicals are positive ions basic radicals are the positive ions uh, in uh, the test of positive ions again you know there are uh, some preliminary test which you are uh, performed uh, using some special group reagent so there are we know that there are 0 to 6 groups there are 0 to 6 groups in uh, the uh, salt analysis basically when we perform the practical of positive ions okay so their basic radicals are divided into six groups seven groups if we include the zero okay so first we will uh, write down the group test and after writing down the group test we will write the confirmatory test at least two confirmatory tests should be there okay we will write two confirmatory tests and uh, when you are sure that you have written the uh, you have also uh, confirmed that there, there is one acidic radical and there is one basic radical in the end you will write the result and what will you write in the result that in given salt there is one acidic write the name of the salt and one basic write the name of the salt so i mean to say ion write the name of the ion so it will be written in the end result so this is how we can write the salt analysis okay this is how we can write the salt analysis and I will also provide a sample of uh, uh, the written matter so that you can uh, see and understand how it should be written. Okay. Now we will discuss about the content based experiment or uh, let's see in the next video how we have to go with it. Hello students, welcome again. And in this video we are going to discuss how we have to write functional group test in our lab manual or in our record. Actually, as I saw, it sometimes it happens that when students start writing in lab manual or in their uh, lab record, so they commit many mistakes, and because of uh, because of those mistakes, uh, they get less marks in practical exam, especially in their practical record work. So, how we have to uh, write the proper experiment in our lab manual? In this video, we are going to say this. Okay, so let's continue. So, as we know that in uh, organic analysis, in organic analysis, we have these seven functional groups. Okay, out of these seven functional groups, any functional group can be obtained in our uh, practical exam. But how we have to write about these functional groups in our lab manual? Okay, so uh, whenever we start writing, so first we have to write the aim. And before writing the aim, uh, let me again remind you, you have to write the experiment number experiment number whatever the number is i think if you are starting with the functional group then it will be marked as experiment number one okay and then you will write to identify the functional group present in given organic compound actually what happened you have uh, a compound is given to the student and a student has to identify uh, which functional group is present there okay so first heading first you have to write this heading in your lab manual and after that, you have to write the physical properties. Okay, you have to write the physical property of that particular organic compound. Uh, what is the physical state of that compound? Suppose uh, you have been given, you are writing about the phenol. Okay, you are writing about the phenol. In uh, winter time, phenol is a solid, crystalline solid. So here we can write it is a crystalline solid. But if uh, phenol is given to you uh, and uh, suppose it is exposed in air and light for a long time, so its color changes. It becomes pink like okay so you can write the color pink or if it is white crystalline transparent crystalline solid then you can write it and then order what type of order uh, you are feeling after smelling it so you can write the order and the solubility uh, is it soluble or not and I think you have uh, read so much about uh, the functional group in your organic chemistry part so uh, you know that this uh, this substance is soluble and this is not soluble if you have if we talk about the phenol so we know that phenol is less soluble okay not very much soluble as alcohol is if we have alcohol we can write that it is uh, completely soluble we have carboxylic acid carboxylic acid is also soluble okay so here we can write the solubility this thing you have to start you have to write in the beginning okay and after writing these things you have to uh, write in the columns which is given in your lab manual that uh, the columns are such as experiment observation and interference okay so for serial number experiment 
observation and interference so which you have to fill okay and uh, next thing you have to mention is the nature of the compound actually what happened let me tell you one thing first uh, you know you have to identify the given organic compound out of these seven so while you are writing your functional group so you have to keep in your mind that you have to make sure that other functional groups are absent so you have to write one negative test of uh, those organic compounds that uh, this compound is not giving this type test set that's why it is absent so you have to show the absence of six other groups and then you have to write the presence of the seventh group which is given to you okay one by one so basically you have to learn you know each uh, you can say distinguishing uh, property of each compound so that you can write the absence of that particular organic compound so let's start nature of compound nature of compound you can identify by litmus test if uh, a, a litmus test can be used to, to identify the basic and the acidic nature using lit, litmus test you can ident identify the three compounds carboxylic acid phenol and aniline if given compound is acidic and it is turning uh, the blue litmus into red blue litmus into red that means it is acidic and acidic there are two acids which can change the color such as carboxylic acid and phenol okay both have acidic nature and they can change the color of the litmus paper it can change the blue litmus into red so if it is changing the color it may be a carboxylic acid and uh, phenol and if it if it is not changing the color it doesn't mean that it is uh, the basic if it, it is changing the red litmus into blue then it will be basic then you can check uh, using the other litmus that it is basic or not or if it is basic then it may be aniline it may be aniline and nitrogen presence is there okay and the next is burning test use uh, once you uh, write the you know nature of compound here you will identify that it is acidic or basic to wo dekh sakte hain agar dono hi absent hai to you will show the absence okay and then the burning test burning test uh, will help you to identify whether the given compound is aliphatic or aromatic if the compound is aromatic then it will burn with a shooty flame with smoky flame okay and if it is aliphatic then it will burn with a blue flame okay so it will help you to identify the whether the given substance is acidic or basic suppose if it is phenol it will uh, burn with shooty flame if it is alcohol then it is it will burn with a blue flame so it will help you to identify which compound is given so you can use uh, this test you can write this test uh, if you are getting uh, aromatic or aliphatic so you can identify it okay then test of unsaturation unsaturation test can be used to identify whether the given substance is alkene alkyne or any other uns or any other saturated hydrocarbon if it is Uh, alkene or alkyne means if it is unsaturated then you can easily identify the simple test is for it such as uh, you can use the bromine water and ccl4 bromine with ccl4 if this compound change the color of br2 bromine then it means that it is unsaturated it may be alkene or alkyne or if it is not able to change the color that means it is not alkene or alkyne it may be something else out of these theek okay? hai then uh, test of carbonyl group test of carbonyl uh, group uh, can be identified by 2 4 dnp test if the compound is giving positive 2 4 dnp test that means it may be any carbonyl compound it may be aldehyde it may be ketone because both shows these type of 2 4 dnp test okay but here the confusion is there that it may be aldehyde or ketone so how can we identify it then you can perform some other test for aldehyde okay tolen reagent test shift reagent test and felling solution test if it is giving the positive uh, these positive test that means it may be surely aldehyde if it is giving these negative test it may be ketone so we can identify first you will have to show the absence of aldehyde then you will show the presence of ketone because it is necessary to show the absence of other compounds it is not so that you will directly write the test given to you okay because basically it happens that if you are writing this that means uh, whenever a salt or whenever a organic compound is given to you you uh, in a first attempt in a first attempt you identified the compound but it is not possible you know it very well 
because we take uh, you know systematic exp we do systematic experiment and then we get to know that this is given compound is aldehyde or a ketone or carboxylic acid okay and then uh, you can also uh, check the presence of amino group by hcl nano2 and ice cold atmosphere if it produce nitrogen gas then it is amine uh, uh, this test is given in your uh, books so you can see in your books and you will find that if uh, uh, nitrogen is presents then it will uh, give the positive test if it is giving the negative test that means negative uh, amino group is absent okay and the alcoholic group it is very easy to identify put some sodium uh, metal uh, crystals in uh, alcohol if it is producing hydrogen gas that means obviously it is hydrogen sorry obviously it is alcohol because other salt other organic compounds are not producing producing hydrogen gas in presence of sodium only alcohol is producing uh, hydrogen gas in presence of sodium and if it is not producing uh, hydrogen gas so you can show the absence of alcohol so i think my point is clear to you my point is clear to you suppose you have been given carboxylic acid yeah, or you are writing the uh, functional group test of carboxylic acid so what you have to do is you have to write the absence of other things you have to write the absence of alcohol you have to write the absence of aldehyde you need not write the only aldehyde if you uh, show the negative test of 2,4 dnp test that means aldehyde and ketone both are absent okay then you have to show the absence of uh, phenol and uh, phenol and carboxylic group okay if you are writing about the alcohol okay because they will uh, show the uh, positive test with uh, litmus paper litmus paper or the litmus solution so they will not be alcohol so i think it is clear to you first you have to shows the absence of the other compound then uh, you have to write about the presence of the uh, compound given to you and uh, after that you have to write some of the confirmatory test when you identified that this given so the given organic compound is uh, alcohol then you will write the confirmatory test of that compound and after writing all these things after writing all these things you have to write the result in the end okay like in given organic compound write the name of the compound in group is present but remember one thing while you are writing the name of organic compound you have to write the uh, you know uh, symbol of that suppose if you alcohol is given to you then you will have if it is aromatic alcohol means then you have to write about that this group is given to you okay you can write it like this alcohol is given if it is phenol then you can write like this phenol is given if it is aldehyde then you have to show the structure of aldehyde that aldehyde is given okay so write the structural formula of uh, that particular group given to you because it carry some marks okay so i think it is clear to you how you have to uh, write the functional group experiment in your lab manual okay so if you are uh, if you are having any problem uh, regarding this you are free to uh, write in comment box we will surely answer your questions and uh, if you like this video uh, so please uh, uh, like it and uh, uh, write your comments and we will surely make some other videos related to practicals uh, okay so that's all for today we will meet in the next video bye